from me. Ah, oh, but of course. His handsome face is a sight to behold. Troubles of the heart. I'm merely a worm next to a flower such as he. My words have not captured his fancy. He is immovable. You chose the wrong words. Listen to you. If you're such a poet, help me open the door to his heart. Men are vain creatures. Sing of his strength and beauty. Compare him to a powerful mountain. I shall try it your way, wordsmith. Holdween, your shoulders stand tall and hulking like the king of the hills. My lips long to be caressed by your forested beard. Ugh. I will wait forever, Holdween. Make me your ale muse, and together we'll froth with passion, ferment with love. You seem an ill match for Aldwin. You could find love elsewhere. I refuse. Aldwin's scent, the fermented hops on his breath. He's unmatched by any other stallion at the ale house. I'm sure. Good luck then, whoever you pursue. I've done all I can. not deceive me. You are the wolf pissed, are you not? Come, come! <laughs> Greetings, bard. That face, that scowl. Yes, indeed, you must be the wolf kissed. Oh, your fame and generosity are well known to me. You have a flatterous tongue, bard. But how do you know me? The deeds of the great are bard stock in trade. The brave are wealthy, the wealthy are brave. So it goes. How about it, Eivor the Wanderer? Part with a queen's ransom and live on in immortal song? Silver comes and silver goes, but the fame of the great endures. Both wise and generous, truly you are history's mightiest champion. Now, hold tight while my muse inspires me. Bring us me at the newborn and the fruta. Soothly! 
From beyond the whale roads, from history unknown, did the Norse take a stand, and now all must atone. Now comes Ava of the ravens with the sun for eyes, trailing a river of blood enough to paint the skies. Succumb to your fate with a kiss, a blade to your throat, the wolf's fangs to your shins. For the one blessing and the one curse is to meet the wolf kissed. Your kennings are weak. However, you make up for it with your clever tongue. It is the fate of a bard such as I. We give and we give and we get nothing back. So it goes. Farewell, generous champion. From beyond the whale road, from history unknown, did the Norse take a stand? Now all must atone. Now comes Ava of the Ravens. Time to end this chaos. Thor lends me strength. Signs of battle. Hard fought on both sides.
Let's see you, old friend. Show me what lies ahead. There's a face I've seen before. Faravid, we met in Jorvik, the Yuletide feast. The Yuletide massacre, I remember. What brings you here? Alf Danyal, he summoned me. Is he near? He was, but the Picts hit us hard. We were separated. Fresh attack from the hills. Temple round, watch your backs! Picts. They won't be happy to see the likes of me. Shoot the throat! <laughs> friend once again i've done ragnarson we met in the forge of battle surely a good sign i don't know you one of pharaoh's new dogs i am eivor of the raven clan eivor yes down in mercia kingmaker with my brothers Ivar and uba and finir in east anglia from the tales i hear i feared you might be taller that's not a fear you feel often, I imagine. So you answered my summons. <laughs> but the timing is poor, as you can see. Too many here are spent, battle sore, thirsty. Faravid, 
Have your men build field pyres for the dead. At once, my yard. Not here, not now. Then to Donna Castor for a victory feast! The oldest son of Ragnar Lothbrook, so he says. What do you make of him? What I think doesn't matter. I'm interested in what his men think of him. Is he honest, trustworthy, loyal? Is that why you've come here? To earn Hafton's trust? To find a seat at his table? I have my own table. What I want is a bond of friendship between the new lords of England. Among whom you count yourself, I suppose? It is an ally I seek, not a master. Well, there is but one lord of Northumbria. Digging. He's at Dunnercaster, the towering castle by the river. Roman giants outdid themselves with this fortress. Where would Hafton Jarl hold court? Them in spring, no sooner. That is the plan. Yet my people suffer day by day. Your people? Do you rule the southern kingdom under my nose? Please, Lady Moira, my wife grows ill. I will attend to her soon, I promise. But Hafton needs me now. Are you a nun? I thought nuns dressed like geese. Nothing of the sort. I am Moira of Weka, Hafton's herbalist. He is an ill man, and I do what I can to give succor and hope. I saw him fight. He was in fine health then. Thanks in part to my soothing tonics. Would you pardon me? This war must end. That is my first concern. The time to strike is... when is... I say we strike. Aftan's hammer protects this land. Tell my people that. King Grisia. As you wish, my lord. Who 
is this? Come closer. Have done, Ragnarsson. My sword arm answers your call. Thank you for your tribute, Eivor Wolfkist. Your battles and deeds are well known to me. And you are the hero of Yorick. So sing my skulls. Not just any hero. Eivor brought order to the city when King Rishie could not. They say you rooted out a gang of thieves and traitors. Not alone, but I led the charge. You gifted my silver to the calls and chills of Jorvik. To men and women who needed it most. A foolish choice. The coin never left King Rishia's treasury. I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second-guess ourselves would only stall the victory. I don't regret sending Ferovid to lead our strike against the Picts, in spite of Eivor winning the day. Eivor and I felled them, Haftan Jarl, so you could sweep in, stab a few cold corpses, and claim a glorious victory. <laughs> Old friend, your jests hit like Odin's spear, always on the mark. I would not be here without your hammer, Great Yard. Please accept this, your share of the loot we want today. A thing of beauty. Hmm. Frankish, I believe. What do you think, Eivor? Wine goblets are for Roman kneelers. Give me a horn of mead any day. There's wisdom in this one, Faravid. By your leave, Lord, I must return to my forward camp. It's a long, cold ride. Two-faced smirking glory hound. My lord, in your summons you said... Shh. Not here, not now. Dance, sing, and fill yourself with ale. Then meet me atop this tower of stone. There will weave a tale of friendship and treachery. A tale as old as the world. Are you feeling all right? Here, Dane. Try your look at throwing bones. Show you a wonder. All this we conquered this, he and I. Together. You have earned great fame. Won many battles across England. But not alone. No, no. Bjorn Ironside, fearless Uber, Ivar the Boneless, Sacred Snake and I. Great warriors all. My brothers. 
gold is good and battle better, but glory never dies. Forever it lives in the Hall of Heroes, high on valor's steed. Together we have conquered. Together with my friends, my clan. Faravid above all others. One sword is not an army, Eivor. Even a hero needs loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor? It is but a name for an alliance. What matters is keeping your oath. A hard way to see the world. Hard, but fair. You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Hafton. What has caught you? Friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Faravid, he seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if Faravid has been disloyal. Then we shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on. You see this? From a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I've heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faravid wants to poison you? I fear he has tried. Countless times. And failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Learn the truth. Dig up... <coughs> Unearth his treason. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stop the ill deeds of Auden and his swarm of rats. You can do the same here. Like a good sword, honor has two edges. I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. Join his warband. And behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing, if he's a good and loyal man. Even better, even better. Fair enough. I'll find what I find, then return, my friend. Don't let Faravid fool you. He is hiding something. for this. What do you see? <laughs> that must be fun of its camp ahead. <laughs> Cold and dirty must be the place. Throw yourself in Gunungagap, you bastard! I am not a dog! Yet here you are, barking again. 
Because we beg for scraps from half dance table. Like dogs. Farouid. Ah, Eivor, my friend. Is Donacaster hospitality to your liking? I would be careful calling this one friend, Faravid. The crow who comes flapping when Haftan gives a whistle. Haftan and I spoke, and what of it? This is our fight, our chance for glory. Fly on home, crow. Lend me a knife, Faravid. This whelp needs gelding. Ofer, piss off. Small men always talk big. So, was Hafton generous? Did you get what you came for? If I help with your fight against the Picts, Hafton will consider me a friend. So point the way, Faravid. The Picts raided that monastery, plundered its silver and gold. The Saxons built more churches than barns and filled them with herds of monks. Yes, monasteries make tempting targets, and not just for us, we tracked Pictish raiders heading north. I know the place. Our raiders sacked Elmet not long ago. Ma. Ah. And then they picked the bones left over from your feast. I'm ready to fight. Let's put them in the ground. Hofton didn't send you north to fight a skirmish we could win with half our numbers. Why are you here, Eivor? In truth, he doubts your loyalty. Fears your heart is not in this fight. Doubts my loyalty? I have fought for Hafton, killed for Hafton, bled for Hafton, and he doubts me? Nothing I have seen gives me reason to doubt you. But Hafton, he seems a cautious man. Cautious? He was always leery, but now fear has gnawed him down to the bone. To your arms, dogs! Let's roast some pigs! <laughs> Watch for ambushes. Should have stayed in Donacastre. More mead, fewer Picts. There's no glory in guard duty. Move out! The Picts are just ahead. Lead the way and we'll watch your back. This cave is a passage. The Picts are using it to cross the mountain. A gift for us. You track them through the cave. We'll circle around back and snare any who try to slip away.
Says, should be home filling my belly, not mucking about on the wrong side of the wall. Ah, boil your head. We'll gang forward with our friends soon and then we'll all eat like kings. Heed my words. Wrong side of the wall. spoke of Stenway, their camp. That's to the north. Their chief may be there. Danes, run! Stop them before they reach Stenway. They spotted us. Run forward. Faster! Faster! Ulfra! Ulfra! Glory for Ulfra! We need to plan our next move. This is heavily guarded. Why would the pigs make war in winter? The 
You're on the wrong side of the giant's wall, friend. Have you come to make war in winter? <laughs> Fool! He might have talked! We got what we came for. Is that more Frankish wine? I'll take a few casks. And that silver there. Ofer, that's Hafton's share. Eivor, just in time to divide the spoils. Take some meat if you like. The Picts had Magnus. This map spells it out. Ah, the wolf kissed is a reader. That's Dark Seder I'll never mess with. Worry about the Picts later. Now's the time for treasure and spoils. You earned it. It should be ours. We did the work. All of it. And nothing for half done. Warming his cock in a Saxon castle. Open that cask and we'll have a taste. We'll celebrate together. Sorry, friend, but that's Hafton's take. You understand. Fair enough. Hafton gets what he's owed. Fuck Hafton! If the Raven wants wine, the Raven gets wine. Open it, Faravit! If you insist, we'll all drink some stinking wine. A little sour, but not bad. I've always preferred ale myself, or spiced mead. What I won't drink is one of Moira's herbal brews. She claims they're a tonic, but there's no telling what she hides in those drinks. Moira? I met her at the feast. She's a herbalist from the north, always skulking in the shadows of Hafton's throne. It's a big throne. Don't you all skulk around it from time to time? I see. Because Hafton thinks I'm disloyal, now you don't trust me. Has our battle bond earned me no favors with you, Eivor? Doubt is too strong a word. But there is a feeling of mistrust among you. I want this alliance to be ironclad. Then let me change your mind. I've got a plan to win this war for good before the winter sets in. Magnus is a strong fort, but we'd be attacking from the south. With speed, we'll catch them off guard. With Hafton's blessing, I'd fight beside you anywhere. Name the time and place. No, Hafton is done fighting for the winter. He thinks it too great a risk. But I say we can win this war before the next snow. If we tell him of this plan, he'll refuse. But if we succeed, you and I together, he'll sing our praises all the louder. I'll fight with you, Faravid, but I will not lie to Hafton if he asks. If you tell him, he'll demand we forswear our attack. Are you willing to risk a victory like that? Our glory? If I tell him, he'll know what we intend, but we'll fight nonetheless, in spite of his anger. Fear is fear. I must return to Danacastra for a time, but I will join you for this battle. Deliver this goblet to my Jarl. He has a fondness for them, and tell him his share of the spoils is coming. When you're ready, find me near Jorvik at a place called the Wolds. Like his cock, eh? 